Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. I'm recording out of uh, Zurich city. Today everything is open again here and I just wanted to go out and check out what's going on here. And uh, there is still not too many people around but uh, everyone is wearing masks like me and everyone is like very careful and taking care. But at least we have some signs of um, a release and everything is uh, looking like that it's going to get better. But uh, here still like the, the work is not really here and um, everything is still like on break even though everything is opened again. I just came into the city to check it out and um, later I'm going to go home and uh, yeah I'm going to do this quick video now live because uh, it is very important that uh, you don't panic yet because i see already a lot of uh, youtubers uh, talking about that bitcoin now had this huge crash and we're going down again towards uh, 6k and lower which is possible but um, today the stock market doesn't look too bad also the s p futures uh, doesn't look too bad i mean we don't have any bigger crash or something here everything looks good also the european stock market opened in green and i think it's just a matter of time till we're gonna see here a breakout in bitcoin to the upside or to the downside but i'm still more leaning into the bullish side so i still think that we most likely could have a breakout to the upside from this consolidation wedge right now where we have here these 8750 resistance and the support at around 8400 dollar i'm not in a long yet i was yesterday in a long but i got stopped out um, during this uh, little dump that we had here towards 8000 $200 and I'm waiting here to enter another long position starting here from this $8,400 area. I still think it could be that we're going to reach this $6,200 because uh, this is the 0.618 Fib line based on the top that we had here at 10k. But even if we would go that low, I would scale in my long down to that level because if you have a look on the CME chart, you can see that we have a huge gap here up to $10,000. As I was telling you in my last couple of videos during the weekend, that wherever we are going, we're going to have a big future gap up to 10,000 or down to 10,000. And as you can see, you can even see it in the daily time frame. So yet we didn't close this gap. So we will go at least up to 9,800 to 10,000 uh, before a potential breakout here to the downside but it also could be that first we're going down towards 6k before we're gonna close this gap but since it's such a big and fresh new made gap i think it's still very likely that we're gonna break out here to the upside and go at least to close that gap and after we're gonna close this gap we have to see what will happen are we gonna just top out there and crash again or are we building up a sustainable support above those uh, levels there at around ten thousand uh, dollar so in the one hour you can see that the rsi is still trading below the 50 and stochastic is overbought so here i'm still waiting here the stochastic to cool off down to oversold territory most likely when we're gonna hit here this eight thousand four hundred dollar support there is where i'm gonna start to scale in my long position and if we go over into the a Bollinger Band, you can see that we are again squeezing into this tiny channel. MACD still shifted to the upside. So here in theory, if we're going to have a dip to the downside, it would be quite good to open up a long position. And if we go over to the 4-hour time frame, here we can see that the 20 moving average right now is here at $9,000. So in case of a breakout to the upside, watch out for this moving average because here we could see some first signs of rejection to possible go down to retest the new support and then go towards 10k again. Here we have the RSN stochastic completely oversold. So in theory, we should be good to go to the upside. And also if we switch over into the Bollinger Band, you can see that after we completely overshooted it to the downside, we retraced back down here into the Bollinger Band. And currently we could even go up here towards 9,300 to test the middle area of the Bollinger Band. MACD still had a bearish cross here and we didn't have a bullish cross yet. So if you want to trade safe, maybe wait till we're gonna have here a 
bullish cross in the MACD because right now in theory we should be still shifted to the downside at least towards $8,150 based here on the Bollinger Band in the 4 hour. And if we go to the daily time frame you can see that we didn't close below the 20 daily moving average so everything is still good and we are still trading above the 20 daily here at $8,600. So as long as we remain above the 20 daily moving average and we don't close a daily candle below and we don't bring the RSI below the 50 everything should be still good to go to the upside and as long as we remain above the 20 daily and above the 50 in the RSI I'm still very bullish and if we have a look on the Bollinger Band also here you can see that we retraced completely back down into the middle area and if we have a nice bounce here to the upside towards again this $10,000 this should be a good sign for the long term. The problem here is that we had a bearish cross now on the MACD so we will have to see if this is going to play out then of course we could be heading towards $6,000 because this is the 0.618 Fib line based on the move that we have seen uh, so far. So down to this level here at $6,214. And we can also have a quick look on the weekly time frame because uh, here we had now the first time a red candle in the weekly and currently we're trading below the 50 moving average in the weekly time frame. But here also it still looks very bullish. We're trading above the 20 weekly moving average and also the RSI is above the 50. So in theory everything should be still shifted to the upside and we should be still good to go. But as I told you guys in case that you want to be ready for all scenarios maybe start to think about to take some profits out as soon as we're going to close this future gap up here to $10,000 dollar because there is a very high risk that after filling this gap if we're going first now to 10k is that we're going down again to test this 6k area if we're really going to have another big hardening dump and the hardening as you know is happening today so in about 10 to 12 hours so tonight is the hardening and that's why i still think we could see a potential push here towards 10k and if we're going to fail here to create a support we could see this real big hardening dump because the dump towards $8,000 that we have seen during the weekend is still nothing in my opinion. This was just 10 to 20% drop which is nothing for Bitcoin. Usually when we see bigger dumps we could drop even down to 30, 40, 50% and that's why I think maybe the big halvening dump didn't happen yet. And of course the question is are we gonna see this big dump or not? So in any case you should be prepared for both scenarios. If we're gonna start to moon from here you should be good to go and if we're gonna drop to 6k you should be able to buy some more cheap Bitcoins and that's why I'm telling you if we're gonna test first this 10k again maybe take out some profits to be ready to buy back cheaper once we're gonna hit this uh, 6k potential bearish target so with that said guys we're gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content you know what to do make also sure to subscribe to the channel because I do daily TA videos and also you can participate to my $10 Bitcoin giveaway that I do with every hundred subscribers and remember if you need to trade with the leverage Bitcoin or other assets you can use the invitation links that you find down below here to these four exchanges because in all of them you get some rewards and sign up bonus so check them out so you get some free money and you can start to trade completely riskless and don't forget also join the free disco trading chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome and i'm doing later probably when the haven is going on the live stream over on twitch so make sure also to join this twitch channel so thank you very much for watching guys and we we'll see us all in the next one Bye.